Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and let's talk about VMware virtual networking. There are three main networking types inside of VMware and we're going to talk specifically about VMware Workstation. The first is bridged. So we'll just list the three types over here. So bridged, well that's a really bright, really bright font there. Um, bridged then we have NAT, Network Address Translation, and then we have Host Only. Bridged, NAT, and Host Only. So if we draw out, let's pretend that this is our regular, our host OS. And our host OS is uh, Windows 7. And Windows 7 is connected to the internet. Could be a, let's say this is a, a real Linksys router out here. Well, I guess now it would be called a uh, Cisco router, but you get the picture. Okay, so normally we're on Windows 7, we connect to the internet, we're browsing around, everything is awesome. And now let's say we install VMware and inside of VMware we've got Ubuntu. Ubuntu Linux. Okay, so this is running inside of VM, which is running inside of Windows 7. So Windows 7 is our host OS, and Ubuntu is our guest OS. We've got three options here. Let's take a look. Your most common would be NAT. NAT is your most common way of connecting. And what this means is, let's say your regular operating system, you've got an IP address that's been given to you by your your links is of 192.168.1.2, let's say, because maybe your Linksys router is 1.1. So you've got the IP address 192.168.1.2. You could figure that out if you just do um, IP config inside of your Windows command line, or you could go into your networking properties and it will tell you that. So 1.2 is your regular IP address. If you're using NAT, what will happen is NAT will connect Ubuntu and basically turn your Windows 7 into a kind of like a fake internal router. So it's it's almost like if you took this Linksys over here and you're also putting a fake router inside of Windows. And this fake router will connect Ubuntu to your external IP address, which will then in turn connect to the internet. Now how this looks to the internet is that everything's going to be coming from 1.2. Everything's going to be coming from 1.2. So when you open up Ubuntu inside of VMware and you, let's say, load up Firefox and you start surfing the web, the internet's still going to think you're coming from Windows 7 and one single machine. So that's network address translation, NAT inside of VMware. And what's happening here is this fake VMware router is translating all the ports and everything into Ubuntu and from Ubuntu. So that's one way of doing it. The next way of networking is bridged. And what bridged will do, so here we're talking about bridged. What bridged will do is it will not actually translate. It's going to connect Ubuntu it's going to try to connect Ubuntu directly. It's going to bypass this, and it's going to connect directly with the Linksys router. Well, almost directly. So what's going to happen here is your Ubuntu is going to get its own IP address from the Linksys of, let's say, 1.3. So the Linksys is going to think that this is a completely different machine. So it's going to think that from the Linksys perspective, it's going to say, well, I've got a Windows 7 machine. Whoa, what was that? Windows Z, Windows 7 machine, and we've got a Linux machine, two separate machines on my network, you know, two physical machines. But in fact, this Ubuntu is only running inside the VM. So that's bridged. Bridged, sometimes you might need, uh, depending on uh, what you're working on bridged in that. In both cases, you will get to the internet. That's not a problem. And the third option, host only, this is pretty interesting. 
This is when you want to run everything just inside of the host machine and not actually connect it to, to the internet. So what happens here is that it's almost like a it's an internal switch that we have here. So a little little switch inside of our host OS, which is Windows 7. And what we could do with this is let's say we run multiple VMs. We just want to have a little network here. And let's see on the first VM here we run some type of server. Could be a web server, could be a mail server, or whatever. And then these are different clients. Could be could be Linux, could be Windows. Uh, doesn't really matter. And what we're going to say here in host only mode is these are all on an internal network of could be 10.1.1.x where the server could be .1 and the clients could be .2, .3, .4, etc. And they're going to talk just to each other and they're not going to be able to go outside. So if they try to go outside, that's not going to work. They could only talk with each other inside of their own network. This might be good if you're testing out some type of uh, server application and you don't want to screw with your regular company's stuff. It could be if you're testing out malware. Uh, could be a lot of things. In our case here, since this is a router gods video, we will be using this to test out uh, Cisco's IOU, which is their I iOS on Unix. So you're going to be running a lot of stuff in host mode host only mode. And the name kind of gives it away, host only. It only lives inside of here. So it's basically kind of like a holodeck and everything lives inside here. They can't go outside. Whereas bridged in that, these guys are able to interact with the outside world. So bridged in that, outside world, host only, inside. Okay, that's basically one uh, one easy way to look at it. How Bridged and NAT accomplish it is Bridged has a direct connection. It gets its own IP. NAT will parasite, will piggyback on the IP given by your Linksys router or whatever router you're connected to. Okay, so that was part one, a conceptual look at VMware networking. In the next video, we'll actually get into the settings of VMware and you know, possibly change things and look at the drop-down menus. Thanks for watching.